so uh, uh, two ways of looking at how uh, how we uh, measure the price sensitivity uh, how how sensitive is the uh, is the demand to the price right uh, so two ways of looking at it one is simply uh, one is simple slope uh, which is uh, uh, how much the demand changes uh, with response to the change in price uh, so uh, it is essentially the change in demand demand at a price point p2 minus demand at a price point p1 minus p uh, divided by p2 minus p1 so uh, it's a it's a it's a so essentially uh, uh, the delta in the demand divided by delta in the price right uh, so a very very uh, simple uh, uh, ratio of change in uh, uh, change in demand divided by change in price right so uh, as we know uh, uh, since the uh, curve is uh, downward sloping uh, downward sloping uh, if p1 is greater than p2 this means that the demand at p1 is lesser than demand at p2 what does that mean we go back right we go back uh, let us go back so uh, if uh, uh, so let us look at uh, uh, let us look at what is this point here this point here is demand at p3 and uh, this point here is uh, demand at p1 now we know that uh, p3 is greater than p1 the price p3 is greater than price p1 and we can also see that uh, demand at uh, p3 demand at p3 is here which is q3 so this is q3 which is always lesser than demand at p1 which is q1 right uh, so q1 is greater than q3 uh, whereas p3 is greater than p1 so we know that right which means that this uh, slope, uh, this slope, if you define the slope, uh, it is going to be a negative, uh, uh, negative value. The, the slope is going to be negative value. So uh, we can we can uh, we can uh, uh, look at slope as a local uh, local estimator of uh, change in demand for a very small change in price. So uh, very simple. Uh, just uh, calculate the uh, calculate the slope of the uh, uh, slope of the tangent at that particular point, and we will get the uh, we will get the uh, sensitivity. Uh, uh, for that particular price. There is other way to calculate price sensitivity and that is called demand elasticity. Okay, That is called demand elasticity. So it is the ratio of percentage change in demand to the percentage change in price. Notice the difference. Notice the difference. Right. Notice the difference. So uh, essentially uh, it is this is change in demand with change in price this is percentage change in demand with percentage change in price so you divide the uh, the numerator by demand at p1 you divide the denominator by price p1 right so uh, uh, so uh, essentially the numerator becomes a unitless quantity because you are dividing demand by demand so this uh, the units cancel out the denominator becomes a unitless quantity because it is price divided by price so units cancel out so uh, essentially uh, uh, unlike slope Elasticity is unitless quantity. It is a unitless quantity. Right. Uh, so, it is remember, uh, I, let us define it again percentage change in demand to the percentage change in price. Right. Uh, so, percentage change in demand to the percentage change in price. So, for example, uh, elasticity of uh, 2 would mean that a 10 percent reduction in price uh, is essentially increases the demand by 20 percent. Right. That is that, the meaning of this. So, 20 percent increase. So, 10 percent uh, reduction in price increases the demand by 20 percent, right. So, we are we are talking percentages, we are talking percentages in elasticity. Unlike slope where we are talking about change in demand to change in price, elasticity is percentage change in demand to percentage change in price. So, that is the difference between elasticity and slope of the demand response curve. Now, uh, what do what what is the what is the uh, uh, general interpretation of elasticity? There are certain goods which are supposed to be less elastic. For example, uh, let us take the example of common salt that we use in our food. Now, uh, salt is required. Without salt, uh, the food is just not going to taste. Which means that even if the prices of uh, salt go up. Uh, I do not expect our consumption of salt to, to change that much because salt is needed, salt is essential quantity, right. Uh, uh, without salt, uh, the, the, the food is not going to taste. Uh, so uh, I would expect the elasticity of something like salt 
to be much lesser right uh, otherwise uh, go to the other extreme uh, think about uh, think about uh, uh, a, a, a service like uh, a holiday right a service like a holiday now uh, uh, holiday uh, if the if the holiday is going to cost us too much uh, there is a very high probability that we may change our plan right most of us may want to change our plan we may still go to a holiday but we may probably cho choose a different service uh, reduce the number of days uh, do something but essentially react to that change in price so uh, uh, i would say that uh, a holiday is a service where the elasticity is generally quite high right so uh, here uh, there is another uh, thing that uh, we have to look at is elasticity may also depend on time elasticity may also depend on time so there is a short term elasticity and there may be a long term elasticity so here here is here are few examples right so for example uh, uh, here are few examples of, uh, as i said salt uh, for a product like salt for a product like salt uh, in short term i need salt i just need salt right i mean there is there is absolutely no uh, there, there is no alternative to that so uh, for a, for a product like salt uh, the elasticity may be i mean yeah zero right uh, i i just i just need salt that's it i just need salt uh, for example on the other hand uh, a two wheeler a two wheeler right uh, a uh, two wheeler i will say that uh, elasticity is quite large because uh, uh, if the two wheeler is going to cost me too much uh, i will say ah let let me take a bus today let me take a bus today and not buy this two wheeler right so i i may i may i may look for alternate modes of transport at least in the short term at least in the short term i may i may look for uh, alternates uh, alternatives to uh, buying a two wheeler so uh, in that sense the 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 short term elasticity of two wheeler may be much much higher than a short term elasticity for uh, for salt now let us say that there is some uh, emergency meeting that i have to attend uh, there may be some emergency meeting that i have to attend and i just have to take a flight i mean there is no alternative i just have to take a flight i have to go attend a meeting uh, i have to go attend to a personal thing uh, i i just need to travel so uh, in in the short term uh, in case of emergency for example we may argue that uh, uh, even if the prices are higher uh, if the if the demand requires i mean if the if the situation requires that i travel i will have to travel i will have to travel so uh, uh, the airline travel may have a very very sh uh, low short term elasticity uh, movies right uh, movies uh, if the movie tickets are expensive i may postpone uh, I, i may say uh, let me watch tv at home today uh, instead of buying a 500 rupee uh, uh, movie ticket uh, uh, or or uh, something like that let let me uh, go to my friend's house right uh, but uh, i i may want to postpone uh, uh, that that purchase uh, because i may want to find alternatives uh, whereas for a salt there is actually no alternative right uh, so uh, in those cases i may expect a larger short term elasticity but as i said elasticity may also have a, a time axis which means that the long term elasticity may be different for example for air travel now if i have uh, emergency uh, requirement i must reach there faster and therefore whatever is the price i may want to pay and catch that flight and reach my destination however in the long term in the long term if i have if i can plan and uh, if the price tickets uh, if the fl flight tickets are uh, really uh, expensive i may still want to find a alternate mode of transportation and therefore in the long term airline travel may have a large value for elasticity so uh, in the short term emergency cases i don't care if the price of the flight is uh, too much i have to travel therefore i have to travel elasticity may be low in the long term if you allow me to plan my trip carefully uh, if the uh, if the uh, price points are just not acceptable to me uh, i may find alternate modes of transportation and therefore uh, 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 the elasticity goes up significantly in the long term for salt the elasticity may not change that much right because as i said salt is essential commodity salt is essential commodity so uh, salt is essential commodity it may go up little bit uh, uh, maybe i i will i will uh, say that uh, anyway eating uh, uh, too much of salt is uh, bad for my health uh, i may cut down on the quantity of salt i eat uh, 
However, the the uh, the margin that I have uh, is is quite less. Therefore, the elasticity may not change drastically as it would change for a airline travel. Uh, look at uh, look at two wheeler on the other hand. For a two wheeler uh, today, uh, I go to the showroom and I say uh, uh, the prices of two wheeler are uh, is too much and therefore. Uh, uh, let, let today at least uh, at least for a week time uh, let let me manage uh, with alternate modes of transportation uh, but in the long term if there is a demand for two wheeler there is a demand for two wheeler i mean really in the long term you really can't avoid uh, uh, so uh, there are certain goods uh, just wanted to show you that there are certain goods where the elasticity may come down over a period of time there are certain goods where the elasticity may go up drastically over a period of time e petrol is the example of later uh, two wheeler is an example of former right uh, so uh, movies movies uh, 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 i mean in general uh, if the ticket prices are expensive uh, i i may find alternate modes of uh, alternate modes of transportation uh, alternate modes of entertainment alternate modes of entertainment but uh, i may still go for a movie in the long term right uh, if you allow me to plan longer time maybe i will buy subscription to one of the ott and i i never have to go for uh, 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 movie theater right so, uh, the elasticity may go up drastically over a longer period of time, right. So, that that is how elasticity changes uh, depending on the goods, right, depending on the goods and depending on the time frame, depending on the time frame, right. Sometimes it changes drastically like 0.1 to 2.4. These are by the way examples. We are not saying that airline travel has a uh, elasticity of 2.4. Uh, in the long term right uh, 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 it it may depend on uh, it may depend on uh, 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 general consumer behavior right uh, for some uh, people uh, airline travel uh, uh, may not be uh, that elastic uh, because even in long term uh, I, I i i may not want to prefer alternate modes of transportation uh, if i want to go for a movie i i uh, once again 3.7 is not going to be elasticity for everyone in the long term right so these are just uh, these are just uh, uh, representative numbers, uh, they are not elasticity values for everybody in the short term or for the long term. But I hope uh, I have conveyed the concept of elasticity uh, depending on the product and services or depending on the time frame, depending on the time axis. All right, so uh, just to recap, uh, we have looked at price sensitivity uh, using two methods. One is calculating the slope, the other one is calculating the elasticity uh, and uh, we have interpreted both of them.